Today, we're going to be rating the 12 most popular charting software in 2024. And of course, this is going to be my personal opinion, but the categories will be price, quality of product, and also user experience. And when I say user, I say my personal experience. So as usual, before getting the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. The first one that we have is going to be TC2000. It's a very popular charting software because Qualmaki used it. And also it was really there before all the other one came along. But personally, I don't like it. And the main reason why is not the price because it's only $39.99 included data, but it's because you don't get historical data at all. You only get a couple days of pre-market and post-market. And after that, it's pretty much done. But when it comes to just charting intraday, it's pretty good and you can also create filter for like swing trading and all that stuff. So I'll be rating it as a B over here. And I think it's a fair play. It's good, but it's definitely not the best, definitely not the worst. I think it's a good middle ground to start this tier list. So the next one that we have is going to be Das Trader. Of course, it's an execution platform, but the charts are really good. And I know a lot of traders that don't even use Das Trader, but use them for their charts. So we can definitely categorize them for the chart. When it comes to price, of course, if you're not using it for execution, you're just gonna pay for the platform, you have to pay somewhere around 120 USD. But overall, if you already have it as an execution, I think it's really, really good charts and it's gonna be able to link to your level two, which is just amazing. So for that reason, I have to put it as A tiered just because you get historical intraday data. It's gonna be linked to your level two if you use Das Trader. And also it can be free if you already pay for the platform. So my personal opinion or my personal experience with them is actually really good. So I would highly rate them. So the next one we have is going to be bar chart. So this is pretty good when it comes to historical chart. You can get them for free and do a couple things. But when it comes to the paying version and trying to use them for trading or investing, it is as bad as it can get. It's just not something that I would recommend to my worst enemy. And also for the price at roughly 30 bucks a month, this has to go in the D tier of something you just don't want to touch. So the next one we have is going to be Sterling Trader Pro. Yes, it's an execution platform like Dash Trader, but their charts look good, but they're just unusable. You can't really zoom in or create anything custom with them. You have to use them out of the box and they just sucks when you put a horizontal line or just show your execution, they freeze your computer. And I'm not talking about just my computer. So for this, and also the price is setting up at 250 to $260 USD, it has to be somewhere in the D category. But when it comes to their execution platform, it is actually really good and I highly recommend but you're gonna have to pay for your charts additionally. So the next one we have is going to be TrendSpider. This one, I'm really torn between where to place it because the product seems to be a good quality product, but the user experience felt really bad when I tried this platform a year ago and I also tried it something like about two months ago and I just couldn't wrap my head around how to use it. And it's pretty pricey at around 100 to 150 bucks a month for a charting platform. I feel it's just overkill. There's better option out there. And for this, I have to put it in the C tier. I wouldn't put it in the D tier because I know people that are legit that still use it, but for me, it's just not there. So that's why it's going to be in the C. So the next one we have is going to be Trading View. Of course, this has to be highly ranked because of the price. You now have a scanner, you get a decent amount of historical data, and just overall, they're pretty fast. I did try a bunch of other platform and honestly, for the price at somewhere around 50 bucks a month if you decide to pay monthly or if you pay for the year when they have those 50 to 70% off, you pay somewhere in the 300 bucks for the platform for the whole year. So for that price and the quality, this has to go of course in the S tier. And of course I'm biased because I'm using them, but overall when it comes to even swing trading, creating filters to find out what charts are doing, gap up, gap down and all of this, it just comes all of it together for 30 bucks. It just, you can't really go wrong. By the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also did link all the best tools for day trading in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get back to the video. So the next one we have is going to be e-signal. 
So eSignal is of course supposed to be the best platform out there at a premium price of $250. I honestly don't know what happened to eSignal, but it just feels like everybody stepped up their game and they just didn't change anything for the past 10 years. And there's something I absolutely hate about eSignal and I'll show you guys because I do have a subscription to eSignal because I did try it again to see if there was something better than TradingView and let me show you the issue. So when you have a chart open like this, this is the 12 version. You can update to the newer version. I tried all of them. It's exactly the same. I even talked to the chat support and uh, nothing changed. They just said that's how their product is. But here's the issue. So if you go example to AMC, you see that there is a delay. You can go to GME and you can see that there is a delay again. So there's always about a four second delay when you change chart and it's just absolutely annoying and it's just unbearable overall. But when it comes to the actual chart and how the price move on it, it is of course pretty good. But just the lag of this chart when you type in a ticker every time is just really frustrating. And for that reason, because of the price and also the lag when you're changing charts, I have to put them in the C category. If it would be cheaper, they would be ranked way higher, but for a premium product at 250, I can't seem to rank them higher than this. So the next one that we have is going to be IBKR TWS. If you asked me that question a year ago, I would have probably ranked them to a C tiered, but now they did upgrade to the new TradingView charts in their platform. So you're getting TradingView for $0 if you have an account. I have an account and I still pay for TradingView just because I don't want to have always my TWS open if I want to just look at some charts on my phone or something like that. So S tiered. So the next one we have is going to be Finviz. So a lot of people use that Finviz just for scanner or just look at overall what's happening in the market or even news. But when you pay for the premium feature, there's charts and they're actually pretty decent. They're not good. I wouldn't recommend for trading. But if you want to just look at what's moving and scroll through your scanner with some charts, they're decent for that. When it comes to actually trading, I think they're pretty bad or they're just all right. And for that reason, at $40, I think I have to rate them over here at the bottom just because it's not really for trading, but they're charts that you can actually pay for. So the next one we have is going to be stocks to trade. So this is a scanner and also a charting platform and it's getting a bit more popular because of Tim Sykes and he's been promoting it online with some other influencer in the financial or trading industry. But honestly, for the price at 179 bucks a month, I just don't see the reason to use this platform. Even if you wanted a scanner, you can go ahead and get trade ideas and a subscription to TradingView for like less. So for this, I have to put them in the D tiered. So the next one we have is going to be TOS. So this is a free charting software when you have a TOS account or a Schwab account at this point. But my personal opinion with these charts is that they're way too heavy on your computer. So if you're running a big desktop like this, you're gonna be fine. But if you're using a laptop and you try to look at 12 or 15 charts with so sometimes you have a watch list or stocks are moving, it's just going to lag, it's going to drain your computer. And a lot of times just having issue logging in or logging out, it's just annoying. So for me, these charts look good, but I can't read them at more than B just because of how heavy they are on your computer. And it makes me think of eSignal but at least they are free. So that's why they're gonna be ranking a bit higher. So last one we have is going to be stock charts. So these charts are pretty bad when it comes to actually day trading, but they're good to look at historical data and create some filters. Because today we're talking about charts to day trade and not just scanner, I have to rate them pretty low. Even if a few guys really like them to look at the overall picture, I would just never be able to actually use them for day trading. And for that reason, I have to put them in the D tiered. 